If you're looking for altcoins that have a high probability of performing extremely well in April of 2021, then you're in the right place. Welcome back, Crypto Fiends. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. If you are new here, which 85% of you are, consider subscribing and turning post notifications on so you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest in the cryptocurrency space. And a friendly reminder to leave a like and comment on the video so you can stay entered in for your chance to win a Ledger Nano S. I will be picking the next winner this Saturday coming up, and we only have a few more to give away. This video is sponsored by Modify, a cryptocurrency I see huge potential in and I am considering adding to my portfolio. So I highly recommend you stay tuned to hear all about it later on in the video. Okay, before we jump into this month's top three picks, let's take a look at last month's top three picks and see how they performed. With our March altcoins, including Orion Protocol, Cody, and Crypto.com, Crypto.com came in third with a solid 58% gain followed by Orion, which gave us a nice 131% increase, and Cody shattered both by giving us an impressive 176% increase in the past 30 days. Not too bad one bit. Let me know in the comment section below if you followed my picks for March and if you made some gains. Now, you know what they say about April, it's the month for altcoins to shine. Considering only two months out of the past 10 years has Bitcoin closed the month of April in a negative downturn. That means altcoins have followed for all of those 11 years. And I wouldn't be surprised if this year is the same considering the market sentiment is so, so bullish right now. First on the list, we have an all time favorite, the altcoin I declared as my number one pick for 2020. We have Unibright and the UBT token. This one actually comes as a surprise for me as it wasn't planned to be on this list until some earth shattering news that was released about 48 hours ago. During the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance meetup where the CEO of Provide, which is Unibright's joint partner, went into details on what we can expect moving forward throughout 2021 and early 2022. And to say it was jaw dropping is an understatement. Kyle Thomas first revealed that they will be launching Shuttle version 1 in June of this year, which will essentially allow enterprise clients to start using Provide and Unibright services. But trust me, that's the least exciting part of this news. What Kyle revealed next was the newest clients that will be using their services, including, drumroll please, the infamous Microsoft, the almighty Google, the respected Ernst & Young, the Fortune 500 Accenture, and your favorite place to shop, the Target. And do remember, this doesn't include their current major clients like Coca-Cola's largest bottler in North America, Kona, and ServiceNow, which will be bringing over their clients such as ICE, which owns the New York Stock Exchange, Deloitte, Adidas, 7-Eleven, the NBA, and thousands more. All these clients are expected to go live in June, except for Accenture and Target, which appear to be coming in January of 2022. Kyle went on to emphasize that with their client Kona, they have seen huge success with their pilot program, which has included $650 million in tokenized invoices in 2021, $100 million plus per year in operational cost savings, 97% reduction in disputes, and they also plan to expand to 68 independent bottlers in North America with the ambition to expand globally. That statement alone can easily push the UBT token into the top 10 in no time. And considering they are still under a $250 million market cap with their total supply circulating, a depreciating tokenomic structure, and UBT staking coming later this year, I strongly believe with all my heart that this will be the best performing crypto in 2021. Next on the list, we have a crypto yet to be discussed on the channel, but considering how much they have going on in the month of April, it wouldn't be right not to include it. I'm talking about none other than Syntropy. For those not familiar, Syntropy is transforming the public internet into a secure and user-centric internet, where encryption and optimized performance are built in and automatically enabled for anything and everything connected to it. Do remember, these are simple overviews of what's to be expected in the month of April. 
So if you do have interest in any of these altcoins, I encourage you to do further research before putting your hard earned money on the line. Now for the month of April, Centropy is going to be very busy as they have 10 developments expected to be released by the end of the month. These include their VPN launch, gaming competition, staking details, platform self-service, tokenomics paper, blockchain announcements, Genesis node event, open internet alliance, node program, and expanding their strategic board. And with Syntropy stating that the next two months will be 60 days of growth for their ecosystem, we should assume that the NOIA token will grow as well, especially since it has a measly market cap of 280 million and is only offered on KuCoin and Uniswap. Speaking of Uniswap, that's exactly who's going to be taking the third spot for the month of April. There's no questioning that the market share Uniswap has taken since its version 1 launch has been mind-boggling. Averaging over $2 billion in volume per day, Uniswap doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. But why did they make this list? It's quite simple to be honest. Their version 3 launch, which will be coming on May 5th. This new version comes as no surprise for many, but what is coming is quite impressive and can send the Uni token to new heights with little effort. Uniswap's groundbreaking new feature is going to be the concentrated liquidity position. Rather than being required to allocate capital across the entire price spectrum from zero to infinity, each liquidity pool is given full control over what price ranges they wish to provide liquidity to. Furthermore, version 3 liquidity pools can approximate any conceivable order book or AMM curve by composing multiple positions per pair. Infinite strategies can be effectively aggregated together into a single pool, performing a combined curve that users can trade against. There's also concentrated liquidity, which means liquidity pools can earn the same amount of fees with just a fraction of the underlying capital while keeping more of their total portfolio in their desired asset. We can also expect other features like flexible fee tiers, advanced oracles, range orders, and much more. If you're looking for an altcoin for the month of April with a probability of a very high upside and relatively low downside, the Uni token is the best option in my opinion, especially considering it's been ranging for the entire month of March. So, what are your thoughts on my picks for April? Do you think they have potential or not? And if there is a crypto you think will do very well that I didn't mention on this list, I want to know about it in the comment section below. Next up, I want to share with you Modify, the first ever decentralized oracle aggregator that doesn't compete but completes existing oracle solutions by combining them to provide reliable off-chain data on the blockchain. Modify's on-demand Oracle services allow developers to obtain specific data requirements for their custom smart contracts that need reliable off-chain data. This essentially makes the possibilities limitless and therefore they can become a key driver for blockchain adoption. You see, current Oracles have a lot of problems that could use fixing. Some of these issues include centralization, manipulation, one-way data, and layer one limitations. Luckily, Modify addresses all of these issues and provides solutions to each one by bringing multiple Oracle networks together, offering an Oracle marketplace, being multi-chain agnostic, offering layer two solutions, and much more. Their DeFi dashboard will allow anyone and everyone to utilize Oracle information in whatever way best suits their needs, whether that's portfolio management, on-chain statistics, or even DEX trading. Modify's native token, MOD token, has a wide range of utility, such as being used as collateral and must be staked and bonded to become a validator, used as fees to access on-demand Oracle services and marketplaces subscription fees for the DeFi dashboard, 
governance voting, staking, and liquidity mining. Something to note is that Modify just launched their staking contract on Phantom and their beta aggregator has also been released in the past 48 hours. With an original listing price on Uniswap at 24 cents just over a month ago, the mod token has grown over 2,000% to an impressive $4.25. To put it simply, Modify is going full throttle into the $13 billion Oracle sector and is bringing a lot to the table in such a short period of time. And the best part, they aren't competing with any other oracles. They are simply aggregating them all into one place, making this a winning situation for everyone involved. If you'd like to learn more about Modify or join their community, I will leave all the links you need in the description below. And if you did find this video informative and want to see more like this, let me know by leaving a like on the video. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll catch you in the next.